So please include them. And when you include them in the work in the home, then you've got time to play with them. And both are very, very important. So basically, it's a balance. All good things should be done in moderation. But there are some things that should never enter the human body if you're looking for optimum performance. And I consider the pure crystallized acid extracted from the sugar cane plant one of the most lethal substances. In his book, Pure White and Deadly, Dr. Yutkin, he claims it should be banned. It is so dangerous. How is it dangerous? It gets the blood sugar level up very high, very fast, and then the body, to cope with this, sends a huge amount of insulin to get it out of the blood and into the cell. And now we're too low. And when the person's down there, what do they do? I have another bit of sugar, is that right? So you get this whiplash. And what's happening now, pancreases are wearing out far too soon. And then children are being born with weakened pancreases. There's really, the, the true pandemic on the planet is heart disease and diabetes, wouldn't you say so? That's, that's the true pandemic. They're, they're the number one killers. And it's sugar. I'm not referring to honey, maple syrup, the, the natural or the coconut sugars. I'm referring to the pure crystallized acid that's been extracted from the sugar cane plant. I thank God that there are many alternatives. But if someone has diabetes, they can't even take those natural sugars until the pancreas is strong. Hybridized wheat. In the 1950s, wheat went through the hybridization process. What the scientists wanted, they wanted to create a plant with a high yield of grain to help with the starvation crisis. And they did. Remember wheat used to grow that high? Most people don't even, today don't even know that. In fact, we had a wheat farmer do our program. His parents are wheat farmers. He's 25. He was shocked when I said wheat used to grow that high. You see, at first, it still grew that high, but it was such a heavy yield of grain that the stalks broke before they could harvest it. So back to the drawing board, and they eventually came up with a wheat that only grows that high, has a thick stalk, and it can hold the heavy yield of grain. We had a man do our program, and he said, my brother is a wheat farmer, and he's in his 60s, late 60s, and he remembers the old wheat, and he loves the new wheat. You know why? He can get six times more grain per acre. What's that? Six times more money per acre. No wonder they love it. But what was never addressed was the effect on the body. This wheat went through, went through intensive crossbreeding, but it bypassed the safety studies. Did you know that the COVID vaccine has totally bypassed all the safety studies? We've got to be cautious of things that don't go through safety studies. Yeah.